Welcome back to another Modisoft back office video. My name is Jonathan. Today we're going to be going over your MPOS settings here in the Modisoft back office. Now, whether you want to change settings such as your customer display, when you have safe drops, what's the amount going to be so that you will trigger a safe drop warning, um, your closed day times, etc., can all be done here in your back office. Now, you can also do these settings and change them on the register themselves if you'd like, but this video will be on how to do it from your back office. So first thing you're going to want to do in your top left corner menu, go to your setup under MPOS, and then you will see here MPOS settings. So in this page, you'll notice that you do have four tabs that you can update if you would like. Your main tab that you have here is your general settings, which is your main setups. So here you'll see things such as if you have an MPOS kiosk, then you can set the idle time in seconds and the kiosk idle time after an order is completed. So for example, whenever if someone's at your register and they just walk away, how long is it gonna wait idle before it just goes back to the main menu? So you can make that change here. Now, if you do want to charge your customers a store convenience fee, you have that ability to do that here in this section as well. So you can choose it either by the dollar, by the percent. So example, if you want to charge your customers a 2% convenience fee, or maybe you want to charge them a dollar convenience fee, it's up to you. And then prompt on register means, do you want this amount to prompt your cashier? So maybe if it prompts when they're doing a credit card transaction, it'll say, do you want to charge your customer this fee? So that is the prompt. If you do want to have that, so you can check mark it yes or no. You can also choose here if you want your reports to print at the end of the night. So some owners, they do not want their employees to see their closed day reports. So they'd leave this unchecked, but that's totally up to you as an owner if you want your employees to see these reports or not. Now, if you are selling jewel at your locations, there is a special jewel restriction pop-up that's going to happen whenever you scan a jewel product at your store. And if you have that and you want to have this restriction pop up, then you can check mark that here. Now, if you do have loyalty with Modisoft, then you have the ability to prompt for loyalty whenever you tender out or if you only want it to prompt for qualifying items. So for example, if you are doing a regular transaction like a Marlboro cigarette transaction that does have loyalty included in it, then you have the ability to have it prompt every time you just press pay now button on the register, then it automatically prompts. But if you only want it to prompt whenever you have a qualifying item, then you can uncheck here and click here to prompt for loyalty on a qualifying item. So whenever you check mark this, and that means if you only scan those Marlboro cigarettes and you press the pay button, then it's going to pop up and ask you to prompt for loyalty and enter the customer's information. But if you add a, a normal item such as a Coke or M&Ms or candy or whatever, then since it's not a loyalty item, then your register will not prompt you to enter a loyalty information. So it's totally up to you if you would like to prompt every time or only prompt whenever there's qualifying items, or you have the ability to uncheck both, meaning that you don't want it to prompt at all. So only if the customer says, I'm a loyalty customer, and they want to get that loyalty benefit, then you can actually push the loyalty ID icon on your register and enter their number manually or scan their Cartsy app. So also you have the ability to do an auto day close. So if you want your register to close automatically at the end of the day, because maybe sometimes your employees forget to close your register and close the day, then you have the ability to check mark auto close day and then choose what time that you would like this register to close at the end of the day. Now, menu categories per page, this will be for your speed keys in your department. So how many categories per page do you wanna see on that page? So you have the ability to put as little as four categories per page to as many as you'd like. Now, if you do have a safe in your location 
and you want your cashiers to do safe drops because whenever they start collecting too much money you do not want to have that much money in your register you can put a safe drop alert on so for example if you would like your register to do safe drop amount alerts whenever they hit $250 cash in the register you can save that setting here and then every time that happens you're going to get a your cashiers will get a message that tells them that they need to make a safe drop deposit because you have reached that limit now on your customize your customer display depending on which model mpos register you have you have the ability to create any kind of customer display promotions that you might be running at your store so you can actually put down here the interval of how many seconds it'll be if you don't have any images and you don't intend on putting images and you can just put any kind of information text in this box below now if you are going to be using an image slide which majority of our customers do use then here you can actually add any kind of pictures as far as what you want your customers to see whenever your register is not running any anything at that time so when it's just sitting there idle then the customer display will be uh, projecting these images that you put in this section so in the print setting we you have the abilities to create different type of settings as far as for kitchen printers bar printers salad printers anything of that nature so if you do have a deli or a kitchen then and you do have your kitchen printers then you can assign printers with these labels so that for example if you do have a bar printer and your customers are ordering their beverages from the bar then whenever you assign a printer that bar print setting then all your bar items will go to that printer only so if you do have a bar printer and a kitchen printer in the same location then your bar items will only print to the bar printer and not to your kitchen printer so you have the ability to customize this any way you'd like you can click here to add new record and just enter the name and hit save and then that will add a print option for you now if you do have a kiosk you do have the ability to put kiosk timings whether you might have a kiosk that's a breakfast kiosk only or maybe it's only open for lunch so you can set the time that this kiosk is open and closed so if you decide let's say this is your main kiosk here and you want to set up the time of when it's open Monday through Sunday then you have the ability to come here and put down that this kiosk is open from 5 a.m. till 5 p.m. and then once these time limits have been reached the kiosk will close and the customers will no longer be able to use the kiosk during these periods of time whether it's before 5 a.m or after 5 p.m. so you have the ability to set that for every single day of the week and now for order types if you do have a cart C plan with Modisoft you have the ability here to basically say what type of online ordering types that you accept do you accept carry out curbside delivery drive through pump side scan and go dine in catering you can customize that here so that whenever your customers are placing their orders online they will know exactly what you do and do not accept as an order type We hope that you found this guide useful in better understanding your Modisoft back office. Please like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you will always be up to date on your Modisoft back office. Thank you and have a wonderful day.